Veggie Magnifique. At the Abattoir Végétal in the 18th arrondissement in Paris. We're discovering it for the first time, very exciting. It's an absolutely beautiful spot, we love it. It's got like plants hanging down from the ceiling and beautiful decor. The owners are absolutely lovely. This is my main course. It's the Assiette Complète, which is with rice, quinoa, some roasted vegetables and some sort of like curry thing here. And I can't wait to try it. We had our starters, which were absolutely delicious soup, falafel, and caviar de vergine. And we're here with our beautiful friend Tiffany, who's <laughs> filming us. Thank you, <laughs> Tiffany. So I have the blanquette de Seitan, which is, I, I guess, ordinarily done with like veau, which is veal, which. <laughs> So this is done with Satan, yeah. Like the worst ever. Um, and I can't wait to try it. I loved my appetizer salad, which was caviar d'aubergine. So it was like eggplant puree, and it was served with crunchy vegetables, but also a roasted pumpkin. Yum. And we had juices as well. And they, they use products here that are sourced from Paris. So they have this map of where everything comes from. and it's local and I can't wait to try this. <laughs> So it's a bit noisy here right now, sorry if you can't hear us very well, but we've just had our main course and it was absolutely delicious. So I had, as we showed you, the Assiette du Jour, which was extremely tasty, and they had this special barbecue smoky thing on the sautéed vegetables, which was absolutely divine. And then I had this lovely saffron rice and quinoa and a celeriac puree, which actually took me ages to work out what it was, but Anne realized that it was celeriac. <laughs> and it was absolutely delicious, so I'm feeling very well fed, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to have dessert. <laughs> so I had the blanquette de Cetan, which is like little bits, as you saw in the picture, little bits of Cetan in a kind of creamy mushroom and, and carrot sauce, and with the saffron rice and a little salad, and it was delicious. Every bite was a dream. In terms of portion size, I have to get dessert. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm a little bit hungry still, but absolutely delicious. <laughs> Would you like to be in our video? This is Bastian and he's been helping us today. Yeah. Uh, on va commander les desserts. Yes, on va commander les Super. desserts. Okay, so we've just ordered our desserts. And, you know, every time before dessert, like, my heart flutters a bit. Like, <laughs> I'm such a deserter. <laughs> so I can't wait to try them because we've been watching them being delivered in this busy restaurant, as you can tell. It's really been apparently successful since day one. And um, to explain to you, so Abattoir Végétal, so Abattoir is actually a slaughterhouse, so we kind of hate the name because it just makes us cringe inside. But, so it's like a vegetable slaughterhouse, which is kind of, we're going to call it the Ab Végétal, just to preserve our hearts from crying. But yeah, we're really excited about dessert. So, I'm eating my fudge, and it's not fudge. My mum makes fudge. But this is, is, is delicious. It's like apple um, cubes in, I think it's some sort of like almond butter or something sauce with maple syrup or something. And it's topped with speculous biscuits, which are so good. They're like the one vegan biscuit that exists. <laughs> And it's absolutely delicious. It's really flavoursome and texturized and really, really, really yummy. And we've actually, we ordered every different dessert on the menu so that we could try a bit of everything. And they're all absolutely divine. So I have my big spoon because there's chocolate involved. As we said, we ordered all three. This is called the sucrudon, which is like the succulent, which is kind of like a fudgy brownie. So it's funny, this isn't a fudge, but it's the most fudge-like thing. <laughs> and it's insane. It is so rich and delicious without being overwhelming. Like I don't find it overwhelming, but I find it nice and rich. And then there's like a little nut powder around it with a few kind of caramelized walnuts. This is my favorite, in fact. And so I was glad it was placed in front of me first. <laughs> and I just love it because it's fudgy. And then Tiffany got this mousse, which it's a little bit orangey and I taste a little bit of mint. It's not my favorite because I'm a purist and so I really love <laughs> chocolate, double chocolate. <laughs> so if you like more of the different nuances in your chocolate, you know, you 
you would probably love it because the texture is, is, is defined. It's very creamy and moussey and I think it's made with silk and tofu. Um, and Chloe's I really liked as well. But given the choice between the speculoos, which is delicious, and the chocolate, I can't I can't cheat on chocolate. <laughs> thank you, Tiffany, for filming us. Oh, thank you, ladies. <laughs> Okay, so I just thought of something that I need to tell you that's really important. I realized what this reminds me of, and it reminds me of chocolate frosting. Oh! I'm gonna have to taste it. Again yeah, now. please. <laughs> Do you concur? Well. Like, mm. Think about it. Yeah, like, you know how cake is a vehicle for frosting? Let's be real. <laughs> this is just the muffin top version of a cake, right? You know? You know how, like, the muffin top's always better than the muffin bottom, and you just want to eat the muffin top, but you feel bad about doing that? <laughs> so we eat both. This is kind of just like, screw the cake, just eat the frosting. <laughs> I could really get with that philosophy. You should get with it. Alright, cool. Today. And we have to finish Tiffany's dessert as well. Because she oh, it's just our arm. <laughs> That's why we're here. That's what friends are for. The verdict is amazing. Very, very wholesome and veggie cuisine. And the dessert just knocked my socks off. The portions of the main dish were a little bit small, but I compensated with the dessert. <laughs> but, um, yeah, absolutely delicious. You must check out this little gem in the 18th. Yes, yeah, so we loved our visit to Abitra, the Ab um, especially because in the 18th there aren't really that many veggie friendly restaurants. I mean there's a couple but it's just always nice to have a bit of a newbie in the neighborhood. And they're also open during the afternoons and they do these amazing elixirs and healthful lattes. So we're going to probably try some of those now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and surely come back soon. So thank you so much Abba Tua Vegetal Nuzagwa Akin.